Hi everyone, this is Rizwan here. Today I am going to review a cheap Chinese temperature controlled soldering station. Uh, the model number is Quico T12-952. You can buy this iron from AliExpress or eBay. Uh, this thing costs around 50 US dollar depending on the number of tips you choose. In my case I have ordered three types of chips, one chiseled one and two beveled ones. It is 75 watt iron which is pretty nice. It has an OLED display and one thing I like about the product is that the device is very compact. The length of the device is approximately 140 mm. The width is approximately 90 mm and the device is 40 mm deep. One downside is that the iron does not contain any stand inside the box so you need to purchase one separately i have purchased a metal stand it's pretty cheap and costs around five dollar including shipping the casing is made out of aluminum extrusion and a couple of laser cut metal sheets for the front and the back the device has an iec power cord and a fuse on the back the soldering iron connects to the controller box via this four pin connector the connector is very secure you can also purchase the replacement handle for a couple of dollars. The cable feels nice for the price. It is quite soft and flexible and feels like a silicon cable. There is a rubber grip on the solder pencil and there is also a motion sensor built into the pencil. You can get different tips for your soldering iron. Just look online for T12 tips and you will find a ton of them. Different tips are useful for different purposes. Uh, I mostly use my iron for SMD work, so I have gone for bevel tips. I, I have also ordered a couple of spare tips just in case one fails. The T12 tips integrates the heating element and the temperature sensor in one package and has a better performance overall. The replacement the replacement tips cost around three to five dollars. The tip is art properly. It is very important for soldering low voltage SMD stuffs, otherwise the thing can damage your chips. Uh, let's power up the device. The switch is on the back of the device. The device starts with some buzzer noise. There is a nice and crisp OLED display. It takes around 30 seconds to heat up the device. There is a motion sensor inside the handle. If you keep it idle then it will go to standby mode and if you leave it long enough then the controller will turn off the iron. To change the temperature you need to use the knob. The knob is a rotary encoder so you can turn it freely. To enter into the menu you need to press and hold the knob. There are 10 items on the menu. There is calibration, sleep, auto power off, boost duration, boost degree, wake up method, buzzer switch battery guard, firmware and factory setting. You can explore the menu by yourself. Uh, let's change the auto power off setting. Uh, press the knob to go into the setting and change the value. After you have done just press and hold the knob to save the setting. Let's do a quick melting test. 1, 2, 3. It's pretty good for the price. Alright, that's it for now. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any question, let me know in the comment and I will see you next time. Bye.